right, this is the um, review for sections 4.1 and 4.3. Uh, this should get you ready for the quiz that's coming up. So on this first one, we want to write the equation of the line that has the following, a slope of negative 1 fourth and a y-intercept of negative 4. So I'm given a slope and an intercept, so I'm thinking slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b, and you're just going to substitute in exactly what you know. You know your m is negative 1 fourth, and your b is negative 4. Circle your answer, and you're done. You're going to do the same thing for number two. Write down what you know. You know your slope is zero. Your y-intercept is negative three. Write down y equals mx plus b. Substitute in what you know. You know your m is zero. Your b is negative three. Well, 0 times x is 0, and you subtract 3, and you get negative 3. So the best answer there is y equals negative 3. On the next one, it looks like a graph is given to you. It's a little blurry. It's a little clearer on your sheet. Um, on there, you're going to have to get all the pieces of information. Well, right there, your y-intercept is 4, because it's crossing my y-axis at 4. My slope, I'm going to go up 4 units, so my slope, the rise, is 4, and then I'm going left 3 units. I could have also said I'm going down 4 and right 3, and that would have just been negative 4 over 3. It's the same thing. So you write your y equals mx plus b. Substitute in what you know. You know your m is negative 4 thirds. Make sure you copy that x. And your b is 4. So on that one, I just got all of my information from the graph. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. My y-intercept on this one, it's a little hard to see, but it is 3. My slope, looks like I'm going up 1, 2, 3. So my rise is 3. My run is 2, so y equals mx plus b. Substitute in what you know. y equals 3x. Oops, I'm sorry, 3 over 2x. I almost substituted in wrong. Plus 3. All right, on this one, we want to write an equation of a line that passes through the following. Well, they're giving us two points. So the first thing that we need to do is find the slope. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. I guess I should have labeled those as x1, y1 x2, y2. And that is going to tell me negative 8 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 3. And that gives me 
negative eight thirds. So now that I know my slope, I'm going to choose one of my points. I'm going to choose this point right here because that first number is a zero and it's going to make it a little bit easier to work with. And I copy down my equation y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. And I've said this before that I know it's a pain to copy that every single time, but it will eliminate a lot of mistakes. Now you plug in what you know. Well, you have a point, your x1 and your y1, that's the point that you chose, and you know your slope. So even though that says x sub 2, I guess we could make that a 2 right there if we wanted to. It's just a matter of being able to differentiate between the other x's and y's. So y minus negative 8, two negatives make a positive, equals my slope of negative 8 thirds x minus 0. You want to distribute. You get y plus 8 equals negative 8 thirds x minus 0. Subtract 8 from both sides. Then you get negative 8 thirds x minus 8. I went ahead and kind of did this the long way, but remember, if the first number is a 0, the second number is your y-intercept, which is b, which makes sense because I got negative 8 right there. So on this one, on example number 6, negative 5 should be my y-intercept. What I'm missing is my slope. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my slope, the difference of my y's. Over the difference of my x's. And that is x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to get 0 minus negative 5 over negative 2 minus 0, and that's going to give me 5 over negative 2. Well, this one becomes a little bit easier when I realize that I have my y-intercept already because I have my slope of negative 5 halves, and I know my y-intercept. I can do it like I did the first three examples using the y equals m x plus b, so you'd get y equals negative 5 over 2 x minus 5. I could also use the y minus y sub 1 equals m parentheses x minus x sub 1 and get the same thing. And we'll probably go ahead and do that for example number 7. Write an equation that passes through the following points. Well, let's find our slope. y minus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Make sure we always label those. And you're going to get 
oops, I labeled both of them one. That should have been a two. I'm going to get negative three minus nine over zero minus two, which gives me negative six over negative two, which is three. Oops, I just noticed a mistake. Something didn't seem right there. Let's check our math again. Negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12. Looks like our slope is actually going to be 6. Now let's, for fun, choose this point. Write down our equation, y minus y sub 1 equals m x minus x sub 1. Substitute in our point and our slope. So y minus 9 equals 6. x minus 2. Then just like the directions I gave you, you simplify. And you're going to get y minus 9 equals 6x minus 12. I'm going to go ahead and add 9 to both sides. And I get y equals 6x minus 3. And that makes sense that I should get a y-intercept of negative 3, because that is my y-intercept right there. All right, on this one, we want to write an equation. And they're giving us a point and a slope. And I gave you those directions before. First thing that you want to do is copy down your equation, y minus y sub 1 equals m, parentheses, x minus x sub 1, and this is your x sub 1, and your y sub 1. You substitute in what you know, y minus 2 equals 3, x minus 4. You're going to simplify, y minus 2 equals 3x minus 12, add 2 to both sides, and you get y equals 3x minus 10. Box up your answer, you're done. All right, write an equation, and this is the same type of thing. We're given a point and a slope, so you start with your equation y minus y sub 1 equals m parentheses x minus x sub 1 y minus 3 equals your slope x minus your x coordinate so it's x minus negative 3 we're going to simplify by distributing y minus 3 equals negative 4 thirds x and negative 4 thirds times 3 is negative 4. Add 3 to both sides and you're given y equals negative 4 thirds x minus 1. All right, on this one, we're given two points. Start with finding your slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's negative 4 minus 3, 
subtract your y coordinates, and then on the bottom, subtract your x coordinates. Negative 3 minus 4, and I'm going to get negative 7 over negative 7, which is positive 1. Choose a point. I'm going to choose that one because it doesn't have any negatives in it. And that's going to give, then I copy my equation, y minus y sub 1 equals m parenthesis x minus x sub 1. Substitute in your x and y coordinate and your slope. So y minus 3 equals 1 x minus 4, distribute y minus 3 equals x minus 4, add 3 to both sides. I'm not going to write that down, I'm just going to say it. I'm adding 3 to both sides, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, so x minus 1. On number 11, they're trying to give it to you so that it looks fancy. That's just an ordered pair. 1, negative 2, and 2, 1. You're just going to go ahead and find your slope. So the difference of your y's over the difference of your x's. And that's going to give me 1 minus negative 2 over 2 minus 1, which is 3 over 1, which is 3. Choose one of your points. I'm going to choose that one since there's no negatives. Copy your formula, y minus y sub 1 equals m x minus x sub 1. You get y minus 1 equals your slope, x minus your x coordinate. Simplify, y minus 1 equals 3x minus 6. Add 1 to both sides, y equals 3x plus 5. Not plus 5, that should be. Minus 5 is negative 1. If you add 1 to both sides, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. All right, here we're just going to be graphing it. My y intercept is 2. Whoops, not 2. I should look at that a little bit better. It's negative 2. My slope is one third, so up one over three. Up one over three. Draw my line. I have to adjust that line. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Uh, my y-intercept is negative 6. And then from there, I'm going to go down 3 over 2, right 2. I could go also go up 3, left 2. Go ahead, draw my line. And I probably should put arrows on the, those lines to show they go on to infinity. All right, here, parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope, so my parallel slope is 1. It doesn't change. And here's my point. Write down your formula, y minus y sub 1 equals m x minus x sub 1. 
substitute in what you know. Your y coordinate is 2, your slope is 1, your x coordinate is 3. Distribute. Add 2 to both sides. y equals x minus 1. All right, here my slope is still 1, but my perpendicular sl slope, opposite reciprocal. Well, this reciprocal doesn't change the value, but it becomes negative. So you still are going to use that formula, y minus y sub 1 equals x, or y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Plug in what you know. Well, your y coordinate is still 2. Your slope is negative 1. And you're going to get y minus 2 equals negative x plus 2. Go ahead and add 2 to both sides. y equals negative x plus 4. Hmm, seems like there might be something off on that one. Let me go back and check that. There is something off on that. I made a mistake. And we're going to fix that right now. When I plugged in the x coordinate, that should have been a 3 right there. And then you distribute and it becomes plus 3. So what happens when you work a little too fast sometimes. Now add 2 and you get y equals negative x plus 5. All right. Parallel, same slope. So my parallel slope is negative 2. There's my point. Copy down your equation, plug in what you know, which is your point and your slope, so y minus 1 equals 2. Make sure I substitute it in correctly. x minus negative 3. Not the best handwriting, sorry. y minus 1 equals 2x plus 6. Add 1 to both sides, 2x plus 7. All right, here, my slope is 3, so that means my perpendicular slope is going to be negative 1 third. Well, on this one, life is a lot easier because they gave me the y-intercept. My y-intercept is 2. First number 0, second number is y-intercept. So I can go straight to this equation. y equals mx plus b. You get y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. You can only use that equation when they give you the y-intercept. All right, I think that is it. Enjoy.